Hey y'all, it's Ali and Oso, and we just wanted to hop on real quick um, to show you how to do a food preference test. So this can be really helpful to figuring out where your dog's food preferences lie and, and what falls into the low value category, the medium value, and then the high value category. So we are going to show you real quickly. Uh, I have three different treats uh, that we're going to do this with. I have some uh, Play-Dohs, turkey with cranberry, some Zooks mini naturals, uh, peanut butter flavor, and then just like a little biscuity type thing that his aunt sent him. So, to do this, I first start by just giving a little, a little taste of each thing so that they know what we're, what we're playing for, <laughs> essentially. They, they get the taste of it. Oso's had all these before, so he's excited that we, we get to just like have things for fun here. After that, after they know what it tastes like, then I'm going to grab two different treats. And there are a few different ways that you can do a food preference test. One of those ways is to put both, hold on, <laughs> to put both foods in your hands. I have uh, the Play-Dohs up here and then I have the Mini Natural down here. If your thumb is long enough, Mine is barely long enough for the distance that I did, uh, then you can cover it with your thumb we're already drooling, and let them sniff and lift up your thumb. And I'm seeing what treat he got first. So he got the Play-Doh's treat first. I'm then going to switch where the treat was in my hand because every now and then you get a dog who just goes for, or a pet rather, you can do this with any, any species. Um, you get a pet that goes for the same location in your hand as opposed to like the actual value of the treat. So I'm going to switch locations. Now I have the mini naturals in, in my palm and I have the Play-Doh in my finger. And I was just trying like all the things right now. <laughs> so I have my thumb over, I'm letting him sniff, and we went for the Play-Dohs again. So it seems like right now Play-Dohs is winning over the mini naturals. I can take my winner and do and pit it, pit it against another one and see what wins from there. And I'm going to show you a, another way that we can do this. If this works, I have oh so slobber on my forehead now. Um, if this works well for dogs who have um, like a like a solid weight cue, because it, we need some self control for this one, don't we? Wait. So I'm putting both treats on the ground here. I have the, uh, the Play-Dohs here. I have the biscuit here. Free. And I'm seeing which one he eats first. So this time he went for the biscuit and that's been actually consistent with what he said. He's, he's really enjoyed this biscuit, which is super cute. <laughs> and I'm going to switch positions and do the same thing. Um, except for a little a little close now. So I have the biscuit here, wait, and the Play-Dohs here, free. And we went for biscuit again. So of the three, you're in my way. Come over here. You're still in the way, sit please. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so of the three, Oso said that biscuit is the winner. Plato's is second, many naturals is third. Um, that's been fairly consistent with uh, with the food preference testing that I've done with him in the past. Down, please. Thank you. Give it all the way. There we go. <laughs> um, that's been pretty consistent with what I I've done in the past with his food preference testing. Um, sometimes he says that that the mini naturals is is higher than the Plato's. It depends on the how. Um, how much I've been using it sometimes for him. So we've been we've been on a mini naturals kick right now in, in training, um, and we haven't been getting as as many of the Play-Dohs. So those are are sometimes interchangeable for him, but it depends on um, how frequently he's been getting them. So that is how you can do a food preference testing. I recommend doing that with your pet so you can see 
what is more valuable to them and that will be helpful in your training. Happy training, everyone.